Hello folks, welcome back to the channel and guess what? We've got ourselves a budget microphone showdown. In this video, we're going to be putting three budget USB condenser microphones head to head to see which offers the best value for money and the best quality. So I'm going to be taking a relatively objective approach to this comparison and awarding a maximum of five points for features, price, and of course, sound quality. Now, obviously price is particularly subjective because it depends on how much you want to spend originally and also how much you think you're getting for your money. So provided these all sound good, I am going to award points for anything that's less than 50 pounds and more points for anything that you wouldn't expect in terms of features at this price point. And to keep things interesting, we're gonna keep the audio testing section of this video completely blindfolded so you can choose for yourself which of these sounds are best to you. Now, as we go through, if you've got any thoughts about these microphones or you can think of any others that offer worthy competitors at this price point, let us know in the comments below so that other people can check them out. And so the first mic we're gonna be comparing is the Fifine A8. Now, if you've been watching this channel for a while, you know I've been using this as my main A-roll microphone for quite some time. And for a sub $50 microphone, this has got a ton of features that you wouldn't normally expect to find at this price point. For example, there is an integrated shock mount, there's a built-in pop filter, there's an audio out connector which means you can monitor your levels in real time plus you've got options for threading onto a microphone arm or a desktop stand which is also included and you get this cool array of RGB lighting options which mean you can add this lava lamp style pulsing color to your video if you're using this for streaming or in my case for YouTube videos. So up front I am going to give this one four stars for features. The only thing stopping me from giving this full marks on the stars front is that it has an undeniably plasticky feel to it. Now of course we are talking budget microphones here but I do wonder how long this is going to last and also how well it might hold up if it were to be knocked or dropped. And then price wise this stacks up at $45 or just just under £50 sterling and for that I'm also going to award four stars. And the next microphone we're going to be checking out is the Mauno DM30. Now this hasn't been announced yet but this microphone recently won an innovation award at CES this year and one of the things that strikes you right out of the box is that it has an all metal body. It genuinely feels much higher quality than the other two mics on show here and you get the sense it would definitely survive a knock or two. So included in the box you also get the ability to thread the microphone onto a boom arm or a microphone stand with a variety of thread sizes, plus a three-in-one control up front, which allows you to control gain, mute the microphone, and also control headphone volume if you've connected up a set of headphones for monitoring. Now, one of the killer features isn't the microphone itself, but actually the fact that you get some really decent companion software included. So the Mauno Link software allows you to alter a bunch of things, including EQ modes, changing the RGB lighting pattern that appears on the base of the microphone, and also adding in things like a limiter and a compressor, and you'd only normally be able to do that in post when you're editing the audio. Now, even though this doesn't come with a pop filter, I am gonna award the full five stars for features here, because I think there's tons on offer, and none of the other mics on show come with their own companion software. Oh, and I almost forgot, the included USB cable comes with a USB-C and a USB a adapter which means you can connect it to a variety of different things really cool price wise this is a little bit more expensive at $49.99 or $59.99 sterling but actually for the extra you're paying on top of the Fifine I think this is a really good buy now I'm going to knock off a star for breaching my 50 pound limit however this mic is currently on offer at $39.99 US which would even with conversion rates put it back in my price limit so I'm going to bump this up to five stars if you can snap this up at $39.99 you're going to get a really good deal now the final mic we're going to look at is the Tonor TC30. This is totally fuss free and it really does mean you're getting the bare essentials for audio recording here. So no audio jack, no ability to thread onto a microphone arm, although you do get a nice little included tripod desk stand. There's no RGB lighting or anything like that. This will record decent quality audio via the included USB cable and that's about it. Although it does come with a built-in shock mount and a pop filter which is pretty good. But here's the kicker, it costs 37 US or 27 pounds sterling. So if you are genuinely after a budget USB microphone with no frills, this is really hard to argue with. So for value, I've got to give this five stars, but for features, just the three, I'm afraid. I do like to have the ability to put my microphone on a boom arm or stand when it's not in use so I can keep it out of the way and this just doesn't have that option. Plus it does look a bit uninspiring in terms of looks and it does take up quite a lot of desk space compared to the other two. So let's move on to our blind test for sound quality and if you're playing along at home make sure you've got some headphones in so you can really hear some of the details and think about which of these microphones sounds best for you. 
and I'm going to play you the recorded audio of me reading a few sentences out that have been designed to test the microphone's abilities. And unlike what you're hearing right now, I'm not going to apply any post-processing to the audio file, so what you're about to hear in terms of these audio tests is exactly what comes out of the microphone when I press record in GarageBand. Here we go. So here's microphone one. The boy was there when the sun rose. A rod is used to catch pink salmon. The source of the huge river is the clear spring. Next, here's microphone two. Kick the ball straight and follow through. Help the woman get back to her feet. A pot of tea helps to pass the evening. And finally, microphone three. Smoky fires lack flame and heat. The soft cushion broke the man's fall. The salt breeze came across from the sea. So microphone one was the cheapest option, the Toner TC30. The microphone two was the medium priced Fifine A8. And microphone three was the most expensive DM30 from Mauno. Okay, so which of those did you prefer? Let me know down in the comments. Obviously this is totally subjective, but after listening to these back, I'm gonna award three points to the Tonor. And that's because I thought it sounded quite harsh and I thought it would require quite a bit of work to get that polished up and edited and sounding the way I wanted it to in post. And then I'm gonna give four points for the Fine Fine. I really think you can hear on the recording what a good job this does in terms of the pop filter and what a lovely, flat, clean sound you get straight out of the microphone. It's really impressive. I'm also gonna award four points for the Mauno DM30. I thought this had a really nice, bright, clear sound out of the microphone with lots of little details that I could pick up that I couldn't hear on the other two. And I thought if you pair this up with a pop filter, uh, you really got an excellent setup for a USB microphone there. So let's have a look at how those points stack up and we can see our overall winner of this budget microphone showdown is the Mauno DM30 with 14 out of a maximum of 15 points. So even though we've ended up with a clear winner here, perhaps you would have judged this differently. And for that reason, I put purchase links in the description below so you can check all three of these microphones out for yourself. Regardless of which of these microphones you thought was best, I hope this has shown you that you don't need to spend a fortune on audio gear in order to level up your audio quality for streaming, gaming, recording, and even things like YouTube videos. The three mics that we've compared here all offer considerable improvement in audio quality compared to the sound that's gonna come out of your built-in camera or your phone microphones. And in my opinion, all of these do a really good job. Folks, if you found this one helpful, do let me know with a like. And hey, if you'd like to see more like this, possibly even a cheeky subscribe. I'll see you next time.